Hey everybody, my name's Nick, and this is The Mystery Today. So it's Thursday, it's my favorite day to pray the rosary because we have the luminous mysteries. And I could pick pretty much anyone because I, I love the luminous mysteries. Seriously, it's the, my favorite ones. I, I would do them like in my sleep every single day. They're the best. JP2, St. Pope John Paul II, he instituted them in 2002, and they have been a blessing, I think, to the entire church, and they've definitely been a blessing in my life. So, today, although I could choose pretty much anything, I chose the second luminous mystery, and it's the wedding feast at Cana. Let's get into it. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to, him, said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars for their Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first. And then when the people have drunk freely, an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Cana and Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. After this, he and his mother, his brothers, and his disciples went down to Capernaum and stayed there only a few days. So, in this mystery, it's basically like, hmm, if you didn't think Jesus was God yet, pff, he's God. I mean, come on, he's turning water into wine. This is Jesus' first miracle. I love, I love this mystery. Um, if you know me, this is my favorite of the mysteries because I love the wedding feast of Cain. It's the first miracle of Jesus. And, spoiler alert, if my wife and I were to ever have another baby girl, Cana is probably going to be the name we pick. We love it. We love this story because it reminds us that Jesus is a God of miracles. And I think right now, for a lot of us, we're going through a time where we might want a miracle. I think uh, pretty much every day, I'm like, come on, God, send me a miracle. I want a miracle. And here we see it on full display. Jesus looking at the needs of the people and responding to them and giving them what they desire, what they need. And at that party, for you know, lack of a better word, it's a party, they're at a wedding ceremony. He knew they needed some good wine, and he provided for them. But I also like to recognize in this mystery the great, great role that Mary plays in our life. Mary, she, she's the one who saw the need, right? He, she calls over her son, says, Jesus, come over here. We need, we need more wine. We've run out. And he's, at first, he's like, woman, what, what is this concern? How does it affect me? My hour is not yet come. He knows it's not, he, he doesn't think that this is a time where he's going to start to reveal himself to the people. But in fact, it is. And really, he's going off the guidance of his mother. Mary, who's always looking out for us, always interceding for us. And we know this as we pray the rosary. But I think when we pray with this mystery in particular, it can be all that more real for us. Mary's always looking out for us. She's always watching over us, and she knows what we need. So if you need anything right now, I would encourage you today to trust Mary to intercede for you, to run to her, to ask her for what those needs are, because she, in turn, will run to Jesus for you on your behalf. And that water that you need to be turned into wine, it'll happen. Whatever that miracle is in your life that you need, trust in the Blessed Virgin Mary's intercession. Trust in Christ and his miraculous miracles that he can perform in your life because he's going to do it. So, thanks so much for being with me today, and I hope that in your life you see a miracle. God bless.